Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. This is an analog CCTV system. It consists, of course, of the cameras and the video recorder, which also requires a hard disk for the recordings. Who in this day still uses an analog CCTV system instead of an IP system? Well, the answer lies in the fact that analog cameras are still widely used because of their low cost and the simplicity in installation. They are truly plug and play. Without further ado, let's start unboxing everything to make a complete setup. This is a digital video recorder, commonly known as DVR. Now, I will open the top cover to install the hard drive. If you want a more detailed review in DVRs, please watch my step-by-step -step tutorial. You will find the link in the description below this video. It's time to connect the cameras to the DVR. The camera has two connectors. One female BNC connector for the video and one DC female connector for the power. In my installations, I always use CAT6 UTP cables for the cameras. Later in this video, I will explain why. For this video, I'm going to use four cameras, so I will cut four UTP cables. I highly recommend terminating the UTP cables using RJ45 connectors. It's not too difficult and it's definitely a skill worth learning. Let's do it together. First, remove the cable jacket with a cable stripper. I use the Ergo strip from Knipex. Remove the separator using a clipper. Untwist the four pairs. There are two termination stutters, 568A and 568B. The difference between them is the arrangement of the green and orange pairs. I use the 568B standard, so the order will be white orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown, and brown. Now I will trim off the wires using a clipper. We need the flat end in order to insert them into the RJ45 connector. Install the connector with the tab facing down. Carefully insert the wires into the connector, ensuring they remain flat. Each wire should slide into its own slot. 
make sure that the wires have reached all the way to the end. Insert the RJ45 connector into the crimp tool and press firmly to fully crimp the connector onto the cable. Repeat the steps to terminate the other end of the cable. The cable is ready. I recommend testing your cables to ensure they are properly terminated using a network cable tester like this one. Everything looks good, so let's move on. Of course, I will also terminate and the rest of the cables. All the cables are ready. Now, how I will connect the RJ45 connector with the BNC and the power connector of the camera? The answer is using these video balloons. This package comes with four pairs of video balloons for four cameras. and a 12V DC power supply with four individual DC connectors. Now, let's take a closer look at these video balloons. The video balloons come in pairs. On the bottom, there is an RJ45 port to connect the UDP cable. The other end that will be connected with the camera has one male BNC connector and one male DC connector. The video button for the video recorder has one male BNC connector and one female DC connector. Now, let's connect everything together. I will connect the BNC connector of the camera with the BNC connector of the video balloon by pushing the one into the other. To lock it in place, simply make a quarter turn. Next, plug the DC connector of the video balloon into the female DC connector of the camera. Plug the UDP cable into the RJ45 port of the video balloon. The other end of the cable should be connected to the RJ45 port of the DVR's video balloon, the one with the female DC connector. Plug the BNC connector of the video balloon into one of the DVR's BNC inputs by pushing and turning. Plug the DC connector of the power supply into the female DC connector of the video balloon. I will do the same for the remaining cameras.
all the cameras are connected to the DVR and with the power supply. This is the DVR's power supply, so I will connect it to DVR. I will plug the power supplies of the DVR and the cameras into an extension cord. Video balloons have a green LED indicating the power supply is connected to the camera. The only thing left is to set up the DVR. I could do it using my laptop, but since I want to keep everything as simple as possible, I will use this portable monitor for WiMaxit. One thing I really like about this monitor is that it can be powered by USB. First, I will connect the HDMI cable. Then I will connect the USB cable for monitor's power into a USB port of the DVR. To set up the DVR, I also need a mouse. I will use the one that comes with the DVR. Allow me to set it up quickly. Everything is ready. I'm sure you will all agree with me that the setup was easy. I'm sure you are now wondering why I used UTP cables and these types of video balloons with RJ45 ports instead of the traditional video balloons that I used in this tutorial. For more details, watch my step-by-step -step tutorial. You will find the link in the description below this video. The answer is that we live in a digital era and there are many possibilities that at some point you will need an IP camera. With a CAT6 UTP cable, you can support both analog and IP cameras, and by using these types of balloons, see how easy it is to make the switch from analog to IP cameras.
If you want to learn more about IP cameras, please watch my step-by-step -step tutorial. You will find the link in the description below this video. Did you know that most DVRs now support not only analog cameras, but also IP cameras? For example, the one here has 16 inputs for 16 analog cameras and can also support for up to 8 IP cameras. These are the video balloons that I used in this video. More specific, I used the kit PFM802P. The kit comes with a 12V DC power supply that can deliver 8 watts of power to each of the four cameras. In the video, I use this camera. According to the dataset, the power consumption with the IR LEDs on is almost 5 watts. According to this table, using these types of video balloons with a 12V DC power supply, the required UDP cable distance to deliver 5 watts can be between 20 to 40 meters. These balloons support video resolutions up to 2K. If you need to install analog cameras over longer distances, you should choose the PFM801 video balloons along with a 36V DC power supply. With this combination, for a camera with a resolution 720p, the length of the UDP cable can be up to 400 meters. For 1080p, it's up to 250 meters. And for 2K resolution, it's up to 200 meters. Here is the connection diagram of these video balloons. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next episode.